It snowed last night, not a footprint to be seen. <laughs> Talk to me, I kinda wanna understand what you mean When you say, her and me We never ever should've played it this real Got me down, under your thumb Just let me out, just let me have fun Memory, talk to me I kinda wanna understand what I feel I love her, I want her I need her, but you're so serious She's trouble, I trust you I hate you, cause you're probably right You can land on me. What's going on guys? Thanks for watching our morning chores this morning. It was some freshly fallen snow yesterday afternoon. And we just wanted to show you what it was like going out doing the chores this morning. Hope you enjoyed that. Uh, looking forward to this next week. We've got a top 10 to announce. Uh, wanted to thank you for hanging with us through the uh, Mid-America Organic Conference videos. We put out two so far, be sure to check those out. If you haven't seen them, there's a lot of good info there. We've got a lot of other footage that we hope to release from that conference. Uh, we do have one more video for sure we're gonna put out. Uh, that'll probably come out tomorrow. And you guys will know some of the people in that video. <laughs> Doug and Stacy. So look forward to that. But we're really excited about getting back to the normal everyday stuff going here around our farm so uh, hang hang with us through some of these uh, these conference videos and different things we're working on uh, we will be sure to get uh, back to the regular flow here pretty soon but next week's top 10 list if you didn't see this last week's top 10 list great American farm tour the best videos be sure to check that out and next week the list we're gonna do are the top 10 or the most exotic chicken breeds. Uh, what I'm thinking with this, I thought it would be one, it'd be just fun to see some breeds you don't normally see when you're getting chicks here this spring. Uh, of course, you want chickens that'll serve a good purpose for you, ones that can forage, ones that can lay eggs, ones that provide good meat. But 
wanted to have some fun and find some really cool looking chickens or ones that are harder to get here in America. I've got two in mind that have really piqued my interest into this topic. I'll tell you those so that can kind of get your, your juices flowing for where I'm going at with, with this video. So one of them is the Icelandic chicks. Uh, if some of you guys watch Lumna Acres, he's got some of the Icelandic chicks. Uh, we saw some on the Great American Farm Tour. I'm really interested in these, these chickens and they're not readily available from hatcheries. So one, would love to just know more about them. So I'd love to have references and be able to report to you some info about all of these breeds that we bring up, some basic info, and then if there's a way to get them here in the US, I'd love to be able to put a resource down for a place to go to. So uh, Icelandic chicks, if you know anything about them, where to get them, let me know. Uh, back when I did the chicken breeds, the ranking our chicken breed video last summer, I had a comment from a viewer in Poland that actually told us about the green-legged partridge. And I've seen that chicken and it actually looks pretty generic as far as a chicken, but it's got like these almost kind of green legs and I can't find it here in the US. So I'm, I'm curious if you guys know anything about it, if you know where we can get it, if there's other breeds like that, that in other parts of the world are their commonplace and that's what they they sell and breed there. Or if there's birds here in the US that just aren't readily available from hatcheries and some people have strains of them that are either selling hatching eggs or selling chicks. I'd love to add some exotic chicks here to our farm and I'd love to make a cool list of 10 plus breeds that uh, are just breeds that I'm not aware of. So go at it guys. Let's see it down in the comments, let me know. Link any info you got about them, any hatcheries or resources for how to get them. I'd love to do that. So next week's top 10 most exotic chicken breeds. As far as updates, of course it's been, well, snowy here in Missouri over the last uh, few days. Had about 15, 20 degree weather today. Throw a little bit of... Everybody's doing well. Our chickens are actually starting to lay. We went from getting no eggs or two or three a day to now getting about 15 to 20 eggs per day. Initially there was a kind of a warm up and now it's gotten back cold again. So it's possible that that contributed to them starting to lay again. We also started to look at our feed we were giving them. We were giving them the layer feed and we may not have been giving them enough of the feed. So we also added some protein, a higher protein feed in with their layer feed. So seems to have helped. Now we're getting way more eggs and I think it's starting to kick in with all the new layers that we got last year that are now starting to lay. But I'll leave you here to check out the flock here as they're enjoying an evening meal. We'll see you guys tomorrow. Mid-America Organic Conference Day 3 coming at you. And stay tuned for some other cool stuff coming soon. Be sure to subscribe, like this video if you liked it, and let us know the most exotic chicken breeds that you can find. See you guys next time.